farewell BVIs. Next stop, US VIs. Previously, we had been in the British Virgin Islands and had a lovely downwind sail from Virgin Gorda to Tortola, where we tried out our parasailer, which Wana was proud to have found on the internet. Finally, we got to see it flying, and we were very happy. In this video, we start in Tortola and make the short hop across the border to St. John in the US Virgin Islands. After several days of enjoying the wonderful beaches, we then explore St. Thomas. Hello again, Captain. Hello. It was a bit painful to check out of the BVIs, wasn't it? I'm not kidding. Too many Americans checking in with thousands of passports. Well, Brits are going to check in in the US VIs now. We never cause any problems. The very western tip of Tortola. From Sopper's Hole, we motored along the coastline, arriving into Cruise Bay on St. John. And here is St. John, in front of us, Watermelon Bay. Bare coastline, nothing on it, not even beaches. Francis Bay. The other beach in Francis Bay. Beautiful trees backing the beach, very green. Peter Bay seems to be the posh one. Very nice properties we spotted up the hill. Another very beautiful beach here. Swell coming in. Coming into Cruise Bay. Welcome to the USDIs. We've anchored five times. Didn't work. So we picked up a morning boy on the other side of the hill, in a different bay, checked in, which was rather painful. But now we are chilling out with a beer at the dive center. This is our welcome drink to the USBI. Cheers. Cheers. Virgin Cheers. Island beer. Cruz has very much the feel of a resort town, bars at every corner of the street. The beer, or two, seems to have got us quite happy. We've dinged the shore on Honeymoon Beach now. Very nice. Now that the sun is out and lots of friendly Americans. We quickly fell in love with the beaches and bays on this northwest coast and in general the cleanliness and civilization of the USVIs. We now take the dinghy to pay for our mooring and then visit the nearby bays. This mooring station is an example of what we mean by civilization. Very interesting. This is the pay station. Look at this. Nice little waterproof box. We have a pay envelope, pay slip, pen, directions. And I guess once you've done that, you put your money in there. Only in America they Only would trust America. people I mean, to do so. Other islands, this would be chainsawed off and taken away like a ATM machine. <laughs> <laughs> in Canil Bay, there used to be a very nice resort, now under reconstruction after the hurricane. Next bay along, another very pretty beach with what used to be a resort. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So out of 10, what would you say the colour of this water and beach is like? Nine and a half. Ooh, nine and a half, that's pretty good. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Looking across to St. Thomas over there. We're on the northwest coast of St. John. We couldn't resist the temptation, so here we are, ignoring the no trespassing sign again. Oh, was there no trespassing sign? Didn't see it. What do you think about the new mattress for Cloudy? Oh, look at this view. Oh my god, this was spectacular. Oof, so sad. 
Look at the lovely palm trees out the front here. Very nice. Shall we buy it? What do you think? Oh, we could just come and have a night on the mattress and for free. Instead of paying for the morning boy. Look at that roof there. It must have flown. Is that 75 meters from the building? And this is 18 months after the hurricane. Can you imagine how it must have been a few days after? This palm tree here, which I'm walking along, has fallen down completely. And look, it's regrown at the end, sprouting back up again. Wanna passes under her palm tree arch. And out onto totally deserted beach. It's hard to think we're on the USBI on a deserted beach. But there we are. Just our little dinghy on the end. Tied to the tree. Didn't escape. Muscle man. Always easy to get it in and out. Your chariot away, sir. Thank you, sir. Beautiful clear water. I know, too many beautiful, 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 but we cannot help it. Our mooring off of Honeymoon Beach was a bit affected by a swell, so we moved to a more tranquil setting. We moved in Francis Bay. This is Maho Beach in front of us. Time for hull inspections. Ooh, that keel looks a bit close to the bottom. But good practice for the Bahamas, eh? The hull is still nice and clean. And the prop speed paint is still doing well after five months. Going for the usual tootle ashore. Nice. Evening light on the beach. Cooling our feet. It is hot. A little beach bar. Here is our parking space, naturally secured. Yes, we don't turn off the ignition, we tie the horsey to a tree. After a wonderfully peaceful night, we take to the dinghy again. Beach exploring again. Beautiful water. Cinnamon Beach, our destination for today. Another beautiful beach. Or you find the synonym for beautiful. Awesome! Passing few obstacles along the way. Lovely colour. Concentrating hard here to get the perfect arty shop. And who should come along? I agree. Oh, oh I there agree. you are. There you are. <laughs> Do you agree? Yes. Here comes the paddle specialist. She loves to have a little paddle. Can't get enough of these colors. I think we've just decided we are going to have a beach day tomorrow. Aren't we? Hard choice, but I guess we made it. A little further along, we come across Peter Bay Villas. We 
impressive houses here in this bay. A little bit overdone, but impressive. And back to Maho Bay Beach Bar. This time, armed with some beer money. The beach bar on Maho. <laughs> and the food truck. Oh, hello there. This is what I call chilling under a mango tree. Papaya. Or even a papaya tree. Just waiting for one to fall. Beach day today. Look at my queen. She had the hair, the sunglasses, the new top. This must be going to a very special beach. Cinnamon beach. And my usual shit. <laughs> we have established ourselves on Cinnamon Bay. Wana, very unlike her, has jumped straight in the water. What are you commenting? Look at this water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> How many times have we said that on this video? Okay, enough. Let's have some privacy. Hello? Hello? Where's that nice lady? Are you sitting on the beach with all your friends? Ah, oh, the sun's gone. Again, there is a conspiracy. When it goes into the blue. Don't drown out there without me. Hello. Will you wiggle your leggies? That's it. <laughs> Hello down there. Hello. Outboard time again. This time we've fitted a nice little uh, planing skid. But this one, very interesting, it goes below the propeller. Which obviously protects the propeller from being hit on the bottom. Which we are good at. Which we're quite good at, yeah. So this should protect the propeller, propeller and give us lift. So the question is, do we need this and this? We shall have to see. And a little bath. Of course, everything has to be clean. It wouldn't be the Samsung service otherwise. What a waste of time. Our outboard was stolen just two weeks later. Next day, we are off early for a morning hike to the old Annaberg sugar plantation and on to Waterlemon Bay. We are doing a little walk slash hike slash leisurely whatever. The trail will start here at the end of the beach. Found it. Where are you taking me? To a stinking hot inland trail. <laughs> Shade for a minute. Okay, that's enough. The walk goes around this pond. Nice view from here. Nice view from here also. Nice view from here, where I'm looking, that way. This way. <laughs> Yet more interesting properties for Glen to visit. No, I don't like this one. I like places with a front door. Security would be terrible. Heading for the Annaberg sugar plantation. Steps and more steps. We've reached the first objective. Not the board, but the ruins. Lovely view from the ruins across to Tortola. And looking down into Mary's Bay. Lovely colours today, isn't it? Blue, blue sky. Looking across there to Joss Van Dyke in the distance. And here very nicely preserved ruin. Like all the windmills we've seen, this one's got the big slot. Interestingly, it's made of corals, volcanic rocks, bits of brick, I guess whatever they could lay their hands on. Do you think in a couple of hundred years' time they'll present Cloudy Bay Ruin? And all that happened on it? We'll have our own little plaques. This is where one of made breakfast. This is where Glenn used to work with winches. And this is where one I killed Glenn? Yep, this is where one I got first seasick first. This is where we ran aground. The dent in the keel. Here we're inside the boiling room. 
only one cauldron left in this one. Others we've been to have got them all still in a row. This one's steel, some of the others have been copper. Back into the cool breeze, looking forward to a swim. Oh, a lovely cool breeze here, beautiful. Walking towards Watermelon Bay. Well, they'd better have watermelons. I doubt somehow. Is this Watermelon Bay? This is Watermelon Bay. No watermelons, but that's what they call it. A bit receptive. Yes. More ruins here with lovely view over the bay. Nice infinity pool in that gap there would be good, wouldn't it? Looking through the arch. Yeah, I could put up with that. And Glenn found himself a nice um, viewpoint. Let's have a look. And indeed, the view is even better from up here. Look at the colour of that water. Walking back now. Next day we sailed with guests around the island, stopping briefly at Hanson Bay on the south coast. Sailing trip around the island, still in St John, with Terry and Vicky. We are now in Hanson Bay, exploring the southeast. The green container there is the floating bar. Lots of dinghies and kayaks docked next to it. It's the highlight of this bay. That's the captain waving, happy to have some help sailing in and out of the base to see what's what. After five wonderfully relaxing days, we depart St. John and gently sail over to St. Thomas. Our vacation in St. John comes to an end, leaving Maho Bay and going to St. Thomas. It's been a very pretty island. We haven't seen all of it, although we have been round it. It's been very, very relaxing, nice beaches, and a bit of a social life for us. It was vacation full on. Nice leisurely sail down the back of St John's, across the Straits, about well, 11 miles. So we're just going to go gently with the Genoa. It's kind of downwind. Don't want to be faffing with the main and retainers and stuff. Looking across to Jos van Dijk there. As usual around the Virgin Islands, lots of activity. We have a bit of a reef here on our right, which is very nicely marked. And St. Thomas in the distance. Eight meters depth, 13 knots wind, five and a half knots speed. I'm not gonna be breaking any sound barriers today. But look at that color of that water. Who wants to go fast through that? Ex sugar plantation windmill up there on the peak. Very pretty coast, this north coast of St. John's. And this is Gail, just caught us up. Nice shine on that hull, Christian. Eva's on the bow taking photos of us, I'm on the stern taking photos of them. Wana, not particularly amused, disturbed with her sunbathing. <laughs> well, look at this, the Swan 66 just can't overtake us. <laughs> they might be in our wind shadow, I think. We see them in Bermuda, we see them in Maho Bay, and here they are back again. Such a beautiful boat. Yeah. Gail's not bad either. <laughs> Gail goes to cruise. We'll see them tomorrow, hopefully. St. John and cruise in the background. This is the great St. James Island, which is pretty small, so I don't want to call it great. And this is a narrow gap we have to get through between here and St. Thomas. Okay, made it through the gap. St. Thomas firmly on our starboard side. Some nice houses, complexes, 
beaches definitely looks more developed than St John, that's for sure. Coming into St Thomas Harbour, ahead of us we have Charlotte Amelie. Anchored relatively close to the town with beautiful view to the cruise liner and the super yacht marina on the other side. We are in Charlotte Amelie town. You always know you're in America when there's a bandstand in the middle of the park. This is on the end of Main Street where we have the main post office and down the street all the cruise liner shops. Post office is in a very nice building for which we are going inside to do our usual posting both day guards. In the very nice architectural buildings. Now that the cruise liner has just docked, all the shops are opening up, ready for the money. And through from Main Street towards the seafront, all these little corridors, tiny streets, very quaint. Alleyway through here. These must have all been huge warehouses going down to the shoreline, all being converted. Nicely done. We are just purchasing our favourite beef patties. Really yummy. Come on, get your patty. It's hot. We have a rather bumpy ride back. <laughs> Road trip today in a very airy Jeep. Jeep, Jeep. Soft top this time. It is rather hot. We've got the aircon on the front and the wind in the back. Very efficient. Starting in Charlotte Amelie, we head out of town, passing through the French Quarter, then out to Brewers Bay and onwards to get a panoramic view down over Perseverance Bay. The waterfront is road. On a Sunday, is it? Sunday. Morning. In the French Quarter now. Maybe. You should say a gauche. A gauche, we are in the French quarter. Not there, there. A gauche. Hello. And they also have the Eiffel Tower. Regarde, le Tour Eiffel. Superb. Brewers Bay just outside the town after the airport so that would be westwards of the town there's a beautiful view of the runway next one along is perseverance bay and our ride today is a nice red jeep and it's a very hard ride quite a nice little seating area here if i avoid taking the rubbish bin looking down on the airport Good place to view the planes landing. From Perseverance Bay, we head to the more rugged western end of St. Thomas to Bordeaux Point on the north coast. Okay, Mr. Jeep, here is our rough road. Let's see what you can do. Look, those are all the high cars that didn't make it. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Let's see where this road takes us. Well, we got our money's worth out of the Jeep. We are in the middle of nowhere. This is the northwestern end of St. Thomas. Very different from the eastern end, which is completely covered in hotels and tourist sites. This is just dirt roads and cactus and us. From Bordeaux Point, we are shaken around on yet more rough roads until we finally hit Blacktop again and get to Hull Bay. <laughs> Jeep's such a hard suspension. Thank you, Google Maps, for this wonderful road suggestion. This isn't going to be my highlight of today's road trip. Ah! Oh, yeah, man. yeah, let's do it. The map showed photo opportunity. So we drove to Hull Bay. Unfortunately, the weather today really doesn't show these bays at their best. From Hull Bay, we are back to the hillside road with several good views down over St. Thomas's famous Magens Bay. 
which we then drive down to to see what all the fuss is about. Looking down onto Magans Bay, with Jos van Dijk in the background and Tortola too. We've come to Drake's Seat Lookout Point, which also looks down on Megan Bay. Totally tranquil, no swell, nothing. Very well protected. And now that we're down in Megan's Bay on the beach, it's actually a very nice beach. But as you can see, very busy. They charge five bucks a head to come in here. It is Sunday afternoon though. All the locals are here. Despite being so busy, it is a very nice beach. Not the clearest of water, but nice. Back on the Ridge Road, we get a great view south and then head further to Cocky Beach. It's a view down over Charlotte Amelie Town and the bay where we're anchored. We are behind the cruise liner there somewhere. It's a very cloudy, rainy day today. On Cocky Beach now, not as busy as the previous one, but still crowded and loud. A little further on from Cocky Beach. St. John Bay. Sapphire condominiums. In the dull weather today, these bays are really not looking at their best on camera. And the real beach here in the same bay, St. John. After a cool beer in the lively St. John Bay, we moved to the southeast corner to Nazareth Bay. Nazareth Bay on the south shore and Secret Harbour Resort. About at the end. And finally, we head back to Charlotte Amelie. The High Street in Charlotte Amelie full of shops selling diamonds, jewellery, luxury items and so forth for the clientele of the cruise liners. Cruise liner has left and obviously all the shops are now shut. Not the clientele of the sailing cruisers. <laughs> this is really actually very nice. This is the Danish quarter. Beautiful buildings in this golden light before sunset. Danish architecture, recently influenced by 21st century cruise ships. Tonight we're doing our laundry downtown. Interestingly, all the machines have got their fronts missing. So you can see the plumbing, the spinning and the rust. Are you okay over here? Can I help you? Can I help you? Shopping, Kmart, laundry. We don't have another day like this for at least two weeks. For a month? A month, okay, good. It's a very nice place though. We have enjoyed it here. After our admin day, which we vowed would be our last for several weeks, we head on to new pastures. Leaving St. Thomas and the USVIs and going for Puerto Rico. First stop in... Culebra. The, the Culebra should be really nice. 